<laughs> oh, why well, are you rather early today? <laughs> we actually just opened up. Mm -hmm. I'm just sorting through the different bottles, making sure everything's all in order. It's school night tonight. So things are going to get a little bit rowdy. Just a little bit. Ah, now don't you worry. I already know your favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So what have you been up to? Um, busy day? <laughs> Mine just started. Well, hopefully you can find some time to unwind, even though it is cool night. Actually, if you're lucky, you actually might catch sight of the owner. Well, she's been all over the place today trying to sort things out. But who knows? Maybe she'll pop by to say hello? Maybe. <laughs> A busy woman that she is. Well, she mainly had her sights set on this bar, but she's now opening up a shop. Mm-hmm. Well, she had her own little, like, underground business of potion making. In the very beginning, it was word of mouth, selling it from her house. But now, she has enough funds to open up a shop thanks to this little bar. Or pub. <laughs> However she wants to put it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so she's very giddy today. She's trying to drop plans for that and everything else. Actually, I... Oh. Oh. Speak of the devil, I think that's actually her. Well, I'll just make a few more later. Oh, Cassandra! There you are. I was actually looking for you. I... Oh, and who is this? Aren't they kind of cute? Uh, yeah, what, what were you looking for me for? Oh, um, yeah, uh, honestly, I kind of forgot. But who are they? I haven't seen them around here before. Well, and you haven't seen them around here before because they've just rolled in this past week. One of the only humans I've personally seen in the pub. A human? In the pub? Well, how did you find your way in here? It can be pretty dangerous out there, you know. But you look rather clever. Yeah, they're rather clever. But, you know, uh, Cora, you, you should probably go check on Timmy. He wanted you to retune the piano. Some of the keys aren't working. I'm sure you could... You know, fix it pretty quickly with your... <gasps> so what's your name? Oh, I just got it. Wait, let me guess. Actually, I'm really bad at guessing. What's your name? Oh, this is just so exciting. I've never had a human in my pub before. Have you liked it? Have you liked the drinks? Is everyone friend-friendly to you? Well, good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little overly excited. Just a little bit. But you know... If you need anything, anything at all, you just ask me. I kind of run the place and own it. So there's nothing that you could need that I couldn't provide. Absolutely nothing. Well, I'm glad you got to meet them, Cora, but don't you have some paperwork to sort through? Oh, I don't really see a need to start working so early in the night. Especially with such cute company around. <laughs> what? What is that? <gasps> Cassandra! What? Did you... <gasps> Did she bite you? 
Cassandra, our newest guest, and you bit them? They offered for me to bite them. And yes, I did. Cassandra, what? I was sampling some of the wine off of them. You know I can't taste it. It was... It was a very lovely favor that they offered. Why? What would it matter to you? It it doesn't matter. I just think that it's... She didn't go biting new customers. It could scare them off a little bit. Well, I can certainly tell you it didn't scare them off. They're right here, are they not? <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you. But, you little human, you let me know if you want that healed right up. It's super easy. All it needs is a little healing touch. There, all healed up. Cora, oh, why would you do that? Do what? It was a wound, Cassandra. We can't leave wounds on cute little humans like that. Why would you want them to have it for some weird reason? You vampires can be so possessive. I'm not possessive. I just thought they liked the way it looked. Oh, I'm sure it was a little uncomfortable, wasn't it? It's all good as new. So why don't you tell me a bit more about yourself? I'm just dying to know everything about you. I have a bit of fascination with humans. All the little gadgets you guys create to make your life easier. <sighs> Ooh. Well, it sounds like you had a very busy day. Yeah, I know. They said they had a very busy day, so they're trying to relax right now, Cora. So why don't you go help Timothy with his piano? I'm sure he's dying to see you. <laughs> oh, Cassandra, you're so funny. Of course he's dying to see me. He's actually dead. But I can't pass up an opportunity like this. I'm always so busy. And to miss talking to one of the first humans in my pub. Now that would be a crime, wouldn't it? So, mere mortal, I would like to offer you a private invitation to be one of the first customers in my shop. Mm hmm. First potions on the house, actually. Maybe two for you. Here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't really explain it. It's a business card. You just blow on it. And voila. Location, name, and open hours. Do come by any time. Cora, can I talk to you for a minute? Hmm? I, I said, can I talk to you for a minute? I mean, Cassandra, can I wait till later? No. <sighs> She's probably out of stock of something. I'll just whip it right up. Don't you worry. I'll be right back. Cassandra, what is it? You're being very rude. I'm not being rude. You need to go and help Timothy with the piano. Again with the pi Who cares about the piano, Cassandra? Timothy can fix it himself. He's a ghost, but he knows how to tune a piano. And just because I can fix it for him in three seconds doesn't mean he shouldn't learn it himself. So really, what's what's the problem, Cassandra? Did, did I forget to give you a paycheck? Are you mad about that? You know, I'm just so forgetful. No, you didn't forget my paycheck. But this mortal, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> they're yours. So, are you their girlfriend, Cassandra? Did I miss something? Well, well no. But I believe I'm the one that already started the courtship. I've walked them home, and, well, I just saw them first, Cora. You need to get out of here. <sighs> you vampires always get so fired up about things. Now, Cassandra, I know you saw them first, technically, but isn't that a medieval way of picking someone out? Now, until they're actually your significant other, I'd say it's fair play. And if they really, really like you, Cassandra, I'm sure they've already decided. I mean, you've bitten them, of course. So we'll just have to see. Only time will tell. And, you know, we'll see if they come over to my shop or not. Cora. Oh, you hush. Goodness, I can't, 
I just be a cute little game between friends? Seeing who the cute little mortal decides to pick. It's their choice, isn't it? All we can do is give it our best shot. But if you're going to get your things all riled up, then I'll just go help Timmy with the piano. I'm sure I've already made quite the impression. And they know where to find me. <laughs> Cassandra. Oh, don't worry, it was just a stock issue. I already gave everything she needed. And, again, if you need anything, just pay me a visit. <laughs> Yes, it was a stock issue. Yes, it was a stock issue. But it's all fine now. Yes, I'm sure. <sighs> so, you think you're ready for ghoul night? All right, because once they start karaoke, things can get a little bit wild. And just to be safe, maybe I should walk you home again. Well, I have a strange feeling a certain witch is going to try to swoop you up tonight. <laughs> uh, just call it a hunch. Now, do you want me to fill that back up for you? You're down that pretty quickly. Oh, Cassandra, dear, make sure their stuff's on the house. That mortal doesn't pay for anything tonight. Consider it on me. <sighs> well, I guess this one's free. Oh, oh. Mortal, do you need a ride home tonight? My broom always has extra room. Now you just don't think you'll be a bother. You just be sure to ask me if you need it. I'm only a holler away. <sighs> she really loves to scream across the room, doesn't she? <laughs> when I told you I had a hunch, there's definitely going to be a witch out tonight. Which means I have to keep my eye on you. You know, I really miss seeing those two little pinpricks on your neck, now that you held it up. If you want another pair, all you gotta do is ask. 